Hello. Hello, brother. How yes. are you? How are Hello, you? brother. How are you, Nafa? Go ahead. Uh, we hear you. I'm fine. Uh, thank you for the information. That I got a good lesson uh, from your teaching. All right. I uh, and uh, since uh, Jesus said uh, he is the way, the life, and the truth, and he also say uh, he is uh, the life and the resurrection. He can resurrect anybody at any time. The Bible does never mention that who's going to be resurrected first because he was uh, uh, among the dead body, Christ was the first. But uh, based on since he is God, he can resurrect anybody at any time uh, to refute of this nightmare. <clears throat> but I want to ask you a question that, uh, do you know, uh, I, I hope you know them, uh, there were uh, four teachers, uh, one of it, uh, Abdullah ibn Karb, uh, he had a, a Quran, uh, but the Fatiha and uh, Surah Falak and Anas were not included. Mm. Can you uh, give us an explanation on this? Yeah, well, you know, the, the Quran, this is why Uthman himself, uh, you see, the Muslims, they say that Uthman, he uh, he took Quran of uh, uh, Abu Bakr and Quran of uh, Hafsa, whatever, blah, 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 and the Quran of Fatima and blah, 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 and he burned them, supposedly. And uh, he, he, uh, he, like... Uh, uh, he unified the Quran, but the fact those Quran are different. However, for me, I don't really waste my time trying to prove the corrupt to be co to to be corrupt again. It's corrupt from the beginning. Let us say that we have the original copy of Muhammad. Let us say, for the sake of argument, still it's a corrupt, stupid book. I do not need really to make a long statement to to confirm that this is a false book. There's no way that God he will say that the sun set in a murky water. There's no way that God, he would say, uh, that the, the, the sperm of a man came in from the backbone. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, uh, uh, I don't waste my time speaking about Uthman and the corruption of Uthman. But however, there's tons of books speaking about yeah. uh, verses are missing, uh, changed, etc. As an example, the hadith itself, it says that Aisha, she said, mm. during the death of Muhammad, when he, when he died, a goat get inside his room and she ate the Quran. Now, we do not know how many pages of the Quran she got, but the Hadith mentioned that there is at least yeah. three uh, uh, three stories in the Quran are gone. One about the stoning to death, one about the ten-time breastfeeding for adult, and one about the five-time breastfeeding for adult, because we cannot find those three. They are mentioned in the Hadith, but we cannot find them in the Quran. So the story of the Quran being preserved is is a very funny. I mean, it's a, and it's actually very very yeah. stupid uh, for the yeah, Muslims. That to, it was confusing me too. Yes, as you said, uh, I was really confused because uh, when uh, uh, the Sheikh told me that uh, Abdullah ibn Karab used to recite different Quran, it was not included. Surah Al-Fatiha, Surah Al-Falaq, and Surah Al-Nas, it was not included in his Quran. Uh, when the Sheikh told me that, uh, I was shocked for the first time and. Uh, I went to the other scholar, and uh, as you probably know, that there are uh, Warshi Quran, Duri Quran, and the Hafs Quran is currently, which most people uh, use it in the Hafs Quran. Uh, actually, I want to ask you uh, another question. I want you to explain to us uh, and explain to the uh, people who attend your uh, live video. Uh, can you tell us the difference between a messenger and a prophet? This is what confuses me when I was a uh, uh, Muslim because uh, they used to say Ya Rasulullah and then uh, it, it said it, he was a prophet at the same time and what is the difference between a messenger and a prophet in Islam? Well, in Islam, uh, there is no... The, you see, in Islam, Islam is a, as, a, as a religion is a stupid religion. As an example, the Muslim, they believe that Adam uh, was uh, uh, a messenger, but uh, he was not. Uh, hold on, uh, they believe it was Adam. He was a prophet, uh, but not a messenger. You know? uh, and Noah, he was the first one as a prophet and messenger. I think. So the Muslims are very confused about prophet and messengers, uh, which is very funny because a prophet. Uh, a messenger anyone can be a messenger like if I send you with message uh, You know you are a, you became a messenger the postman is a messenger The postman who deliver letters for you is a messenger But in order to be a messenger for God you have to be a prophet Because a messenger of God he delivered to us a news which is hiding from us. That is a prophecy 
It's a message from God. Yeah. As an example. Yeah, you when, need to have prophecy, yes. Yeah. Uh, you when, have when, when, someone when, I should prophesy something that's uh, that, something that happened uh on his lifetime and after he he died, something uh, there should be tangible. Uh, as you said, you're right here. Yeah. I accept it. Yeah, so but but the Muslims they think they have their own idea of what is uh, what is messenger and what is uh, a prophet, uh, and because they they have a, a, a like a, a funny understanding, they come with funny answers. I, I will show you on the screen. Let me see. Uh, let us see here. Okay, here we go. If you see here, this is this is a Muslim website. It says the question was, I would like to know if Adam, peace be upon him, was a prophet. And if he was not, who was the first prophet? Basically, the origin of the history of Islam. All right. The answer of the scholar is, uh, Adam was the first of the prophets, as it says in the hadith, narrated by Ibn uh, Hibba, etc. And then it says that the prophet, which means Muhammad, was asked about Adam. Was he a prophet? He said, yes. The prophet who Allah spoke <coughs> So Allah spoke to Adam, but he was not a messenger. Muhammad saying that Muhammad said Adam was a prophet, but he was not a messenger because the hadith about intercession in which it says that the people go to Noah and says to him, you are the first messenger who Allah has sent to earth. So the Muslims, they, they have a very funny understanding of a prophet and messenger. They are very confused. Because of the answer of Muhammad, not because really it's it's confusing, but Muhammad is made a stupid statement. Muhammad is a prophet, Noah is a messenger. Now, how Muhammad is a prophet and Noah is a messenger, it should be the opposite, actually. Because yeah. if 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 uh, if uh, <coughs> if Adam he just spoke to the people saying to them, uh, go around the Kaaba as the yeah. story is mentioned, that you have to circle around the Kaaba seven times, and etc. This is not a prophecy. And then there's no prophecy there, but yeah. according to Muhammad, is the opposite because uh, because Noah, remember, be, hold on, uh, hold something, on, something uh, you should do beyond the scope of I uh, just like let's see that, uh, let's see uh, the other prophets in the Bible. I found them that they were doing miracles, they were healing the sick people, uh, even uh, the Pharisees and the scribes. Uh, when I read Bible, I found out that uh, they were not refuting him. Uh, but they were uh, crucified. They were refused. They were uh, opposing him because he made himself God. Yeah, this was the basic reason. That's but, why he was crucified. Why the, the Son of God? Yeah. literally in two uh, terms means he, he defines himself as God. That was the problem. Right, and that was the major reason uh, why these people took him to uh, crucifixion. And the other is in the Quran or uh, somewhere, just literally. Uh, when you know when you someone gives you dawah he will tell you that there were 125,000 prophets 24 more than, actually 24,000 more than actually it says more than and uh, when i ask who are those because only to since 25 of uh, the people are mentioned where are those uh, prophets because the prophets should carry a message from the lord and that should be uh, uh that should leave uh, his own uh, uh, print for next generation. But we do not see other people's scriptures. And where are those 125,000? Did Allah send for Chinese people, for Korean people, or for others? Nowhere he sent it. And I was so confused. And uh, I really thank you for your videos that uh, actually uh, uh, the, uh, everything becomes clearer for me because since uh, I got uh, one confusion, uh, that means uh, uh, or everything uh, is contradiction and confusion because uh, it helps us for the people because you know what it helps us? Someone, uh, he will go to a shirk and he will tell him something. He will go to a website and there is Shah Google and he will Google it and when, you go, when he found out that it's wrong, he will go to another to find another uh, shirk and it is all uh, <coughs> uh, confusion. And it is somehow uh, the, the normal believer, he, he doesn't allow to know the secrets inside the Islam because uh, the Sheikh, I remember uh, 10 years before, he told me that there is a secret in Islam, but not anyone can uh, bear this truth because if they know that, they may leave Islam. He told me that, I remember. Yeah. Well, uh, Magdad, you, you are the same person in submission to Allah before, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. Well, it was good to have you, my friend. 
but uh, but anyway, as you see, the Muslims are very confused about who is a messenger and who is a, a prophet, because Islam is a very stupid religion, and the reason they are confused is because of Muhammad. Muhammad is the one told them that uh, uh, Adam is a messenger, is a, is a prophet, and Noah is a messenger. But you know, if Noah was a messenger, so is it prophecy to say to them that you will be destroyed if you don't believe in God? <laughs> you know what I mean? If when when Noah he said to people, if you don't believe in God. God will destroy you. Isn't it? This is a prophecy. No, yeah. no, it's not a prophecy at all. No, this is a prophecy. Why? When I say to you that God is going to destroy you, <laughs> and this is what oh, will happen. Yeah. This yeah. is a prophecy. And this is what will happen. That's this is a prophecy. Finish. Yeah, but so, yes, but, but, but Sodom then, and Gomorrah. Yeah, but but then, but then, how how Muhammad he claimed that Adam is a prophet and Noah is a messenger. How that Actually, can be Adam cannot be a prophet since there is no one uh, during his time he was a no problem let us say he was a prophet for the sake of argument you know he's a prophet but what what is the prophecy of Adam can Muslims name for me the prophecy of Adam no prophecy I never heard uh, as you see prophecy. in the front of you in the screen this is the Muslim answer according to Muhammad <laughs> Muhammad is the one who said that Noah is a messenger and Adam is a prophet but it should be the opposite if this is true because maybe Adam, he just have a message to people to worship one God, but he never given a prophecy. What is the prophecy Adam he provide to his people? A name for me, Muslim is one. Noah, he provide a prophecy that if you don't believe in God, he will destroy you. That is a prophecy. That is not a message. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he built an ark. Yeah, yeah. He, and yeah, and he's, he he prophesied to them and he told That's them. That's prophecy. Yeah. That so a prophecy so is years, something you say yes. is going to happen in the future, and it's exactly what he yeah. said will happen in the future. So how Adam is the prophet and Muhammad and Noah is the messenger? That's that, that's that's stupid. But nothing new. This is Islam. You know. Yeah, and I want to ask you Surah Taha, uh, verse fourteen, uh, and uh, when. Uh, Someone uh, asked it, uh, that where did Allah say uh, in his own words that uh, I am Allah, your God, worship me. In exact words, he brought this word. It did that. It, it see, the, it, does it, the verse say that Allah said worship me? It, instead, he said uh, uh, obey me. Surah Taha, uh, verse 14, I think. Yeah, you know, uh, uh, you mean in the translation or you mean Arabic? Yeah, both. I, I want you to. Well, in Arabic, uh, 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 yeah, in Arabic, it says that I am uh, Allah, and there is no God yeah. but me. So worship me, yes, and go and do the prayer for, for uh, and, and to mention me. Uh, but but that will be a problem if we read the chapter of Al Fatiha. Why Allah in the chapter of Al Fatiha He says, "Praise be to Allah." Why He don't say, "Praise me, people," you know? Why He didn't say? Uh, seek to worship me. Here we go. He is saying that in chapter in, in this chapter, chapter Taha, verse number 14. Inni and Allah yeah. la ilaha illa ana fa So yeah, so so he Allah mentioned Allah. that he's saying it clearly that I am Allah and there is no other God but worship me, right? So yeah. why he did not say that in Al Fatiha? Yeah. No. Why in the yeah, Fatiha the says verse, in yeah. the name of Allah, Allah the most yeah. gracious, most merciful. This is not Allah talking, it cannot be Allah talking. This is somebody saying a prayer, and Muhammad is the one who was saying that a prayer. And the Muslim they put it in the Quran as a chapter in the Quran. Yeah. Look like you know, as as I, as I understand from the chapter of Fatiha, Muhammad just trying to make a prayer to make himself equal to the Christians and the Jews. The Christian they have our Father out of heaven. Uh, uh, they pray it. So the Muslims, what they will pray, what, what they will say exactly. So if you compare between Al Fatiha. And our father out of heaven, you will see there is uh, too much similarity between them. Yeah, you know, like if you go to verse number uh, verse number seven, it says, "Don't uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, like you know, in the Bible it says, uh, forgive to us the same as we, you know, forgive yeah. to others.' Don't lead us into temptation. Right. Yeah. So here you will see Muhammad is speaking about saying, "Don't yeah. make us the same as the cursed one and the lost one." Yeah, 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 so very close. Yeah. So he, right. So he just he just changed he just changed a little bit of the word the wording in the in the verses, and he make it an Islamic prayer. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Anything else you yeah. want to say, my friend? Do you have yeah. any other? Thank question? you. Thank you. It's clear for me. Thank you're you. You're welcome. You're welcome.